this I would say is a favorite question in electrical and it is often asked by surveyor that what if you do if your motor is submerged in seawater or that is a it is it gets like drowned in seawater by any contamination with seawater what you are supposed to go means how you will revive the motor okay so this is the question okay now we are going see it is very easy we are going to see it in a nutshell so let's talk about in this media first of all take or first of all take out the motor from seawater obviously by isolating it from the connection so what we are going to do these things safety aspects surveyor wants to hear from you please disk uh, isolate the connections first of all you take out isolate the connection and take it to the electrical workshop you take to the workshop now measure the insulation resistance which will be very low to 200 ohm i hope you know how to measure this insulation resistance 200 ohm so the main propulsion so the main problem is to restore the insulation resistance and this can be restored by three ways now this insulation resistance so this is the major problem which can cause your short circuit or burning of your motor or whatever may problem may be so this can be restored by three ways that is cleaning drying and then re-varnishing okay so we dismantle it and wash the winding with fresh water and clean the grease or oil on the windings with the help of using a depressant liquid such as arma clean so what we do is we dismantle it and wash the winding with fresh water because fresh water that is very important because there may be even some grease or oil or even salt deposit because it is submerged into the uh, sea water okay with the help of using a dispersant liquid such as arma clean you can use some other dispersant liquid that is also uh, uh, possible there is no problem now dry the stator winding with the help of heaters or cargo clusters with plenty of ventilation to allow the dampness to escape okay so we allow it for with the help of heaters now uh, same thing for rotors we do for same thing this was for stator and then same thing we are doing it for rotors as well because on stators these windings are there okay so that's why we were doing it first for the windings if you know the construction of motor bearings cleaning can be done with high speed diesel oil so we are doing it with diesel oil for these two things now assemble the motor and turn the motor for some revolution for checking tightness and also we turn it and then we check the revolution go for insulation resistances that is ir test and if it remains high over a view for a few hours apply a couple of coats of good quality air drying insulating varnish so we apply varnish there is a spray and now the motor with the pump uh, is tested by taking it onto the load okay so th these are the few steps i hope it is clear for you there is now everything is self-explanatory and you can now from now you can easily answer the surveyor thank you so much